Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for September 19th to the 25th. This is for Capricorn Sun and Rising. If you're new to my channel, I use a, I do a traditional Celtic cross spread, all right? But I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity and to get more specific with your reading. And the reason I do this is because I want you to feel like it's a personal reading rather than a general spread. So Capricorn this week, listen, we're going into Libra season, baby. All right. So uh, that's going to happen. The sun goes into Libra on the 22nd. All right. And then we actually have that really big new moon in Libra uh, this week on Sunday. All right. So keep that in mind because Libra happens to be your 10th house of career. All right. Public recognition, uh, public achievements, honors, fame, all that good stuff. Uh, very, very career related. Uh, so we're entering that season. All right. So we're going to see a lot of focus around your career and Capricorns. I'm sure y'all are thrilled because y'all are known to put a lot of effort into your work. Y'all work so hard. Okay. Y'all do prioritize work. Um, and you make it part of your life. And I love that about you. Uh, because, you know, at the end of the day, work is something that brings us, you know, just kind of like a sense of value and uh, who we are and all that. And I'm not even, I talk way too much, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with your reading for September 19th to the 25th, Capricorn, Sun, and Rising. All right, so as I said earlier, I do a traditional culture cross spread. It's uh, one of the most complex spreads, but it's the one that gives... A really great overview now and it's also the ones my uh, the one my clients prefer and if you want to book a private reading with me uh, you know where to find me secondly Capricorns I just have to say that I love you so much and I'm glad that you're here with me I love my Capricorns all right so let's get started Wow Capricorn I've actually never seen a reading for you like this. This is really interesting. Um, okay. All right. All right. All right. So. Let's get started. You got the world. All right. Love it. Who doesn't love the world? All right. Now, this is, you can see uh, the world. This is the last of the major arcanas. We've come to the end, right? Came up in your past. So. What this is indicating is many Capricorns have or will this week start a brand new chapter in your life, okay? Maybe you just started a new job. Maybe you just had a child. Maybe you just got married. Maybe you just got engaged. Think new chapter, all right? New chapter in your life. It looks, I mean, listen, it came up in your past and, you know, this is the end of the journey, all right, and the major arcanas. Um, I love this for you, a big in a big way, all right. I love this for you, and I'm so glad that this came up because it looks like the direction you're going. Wow. There's, you know, it's. I mean, well, it's great, all right. Uh, okay, so. I'm just picking up, uh, there's a lot of, okay, well, let's, let me just keep going. Okay, so you did get the Queen of Swords in the heart of your spread, all right? So, we love the Queen of Swords. Some people call her the Ice Queen. She's not the friendliest, she's not the most popular, yet she's a queen, all right? And the reason she's sitting in that throne is because she was smart, she used her head, she was cunning, she was... Uh, strategist she uh, you know she's just like any great general out there in war right she the same right here all right she's the queen that leads with her head not her heart okay that's why there's you know uh, a lot of people don't think that she is the friendliest but at the end of the day she does care about people in her kingdom she does care about everybody right it's just that she doesn't have, uh, like, you don't see any water in this card, do you, right? So she's that type of queen, right? Uh, but head above the clouds, this is you this week where 
you are going to be feeling very powerful, all right? You're gonna be very feeling very powerful in what you do, all right? Up here, okay? And it's, you know, interestingly, you did get the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, very different from the Queen of Swords, all right? But the Queen of Pentacles is what came up in your uh, challenge area. So I don't think that you are, even though you have all this power, I need you to, uh, with the Queen of Pentacles coming up in your challenge area, I need, a, I need you to start thinking about the world that you want to build, all right? I want you to start thinking about what you need, all right, for yourself, okay? The Queen of Pentacles, I call her, listen, it looks like this, this, the card itself was, comes straight out of a fairy tale, right? Right out of the pages of a fairy tale. You see that even like the bunny rabbit in the corner here, which does represent fertility, um, it all, it looks like a, it, it's, it's a fairy tale book. And so what is a fairy tale? It's world building, right? And so the Queen of Pentacles, she's the richest queen, okay? And she has the resources to build the world that she wants, okay? She also, like every queen, they take care of everyone in their kingdom. All their energy, okay? All their energy is internal. All their power is internal as opposed to the king's. It's more exterior, all right? So, listen, very maternal. Um, but I want you to tap into that, all right, this week. I want you to think about the things that you want to build in your world, all right? Think about your world building, okay? And think about just maybe even uh, if you've if you've always felt you ha didn't have the money to do something, um, there's it will come. You will eventually get there, but. Uh, Put that in the blueprint, all right? The things that you always thought you didn't have the money for. Listen, you want to start manifesting these things, okay? Put that in your notes or what your list of things that you want in your world. Even if it's something that you can't afford right now, listen, things, anything is possible. And I hope you know that. Now, you did get the high priestess, okay? A lot of female figures, all right? A lot of feminine energy in your reading this week, okay? So the high priestess, it looks like that you are looking for a little bit more, uh, let's just say, into being in touch with your intuitive side. And that's really good, okay? That's really great, Capricorn. And I love that did come up for you, okay? The high priestess only comes up when she says, when she needs to tell you to tap within. And because of it came up in your crown, you're already thinking of it. So this is really great, okay? This is, you know, when you when you become more intuitive, when you tap into that part of yourself, okay? We call her the most psychic, the most spiritual, the most mystical. But when you dig that deep, all right, it brings out that deeper wisdom, okay? And so, boom. You got the two of cups, all right? So that came in the root of your spread. So in this world building, in this new chapter, as you move forward... It looks like you are looking for um, love, okay? Relationships, which is really great, all right? And if you're not here for love or career, or well, love, this is also a new partnership. So it could be like you could be looking to join forces with another company or maybe even, you know, have a new boss or maybe you're the one that's hiring and you're looking for someone right now, all right? So uh, listen, when it comes to love, if you are single, hey, this is good, all right? Now, secondly, if you're not single, if you're already in a relationship, if you're married or what, or whatnot, this is just taking it to the next level, all right? You could have reached a point in your relationship and happens in every relationship where it's just like, it's almost like there's like a plateau, right? And so this is that expression that you know the liveliness that creativity the you know that oomph that you need right to take it to the next level now or keep the pulse beating right um you do get the knight of pentacles in your future area and so i really love that this is a man uh listen knights are really fiery uh this is someone who is the only knight actually where his horse isn't just going isn't moving at all <laughs> 
<laughs> and so what we love about the Knight of Pentacles is that he is a man of long-term commitment, okay? And so this is in your future, all right? Now, mostly relating to wealth, all right? And money, all right? And career, okay? Uh, remember, we said we're heading into labor season. That is your 10th house. But think about uh, this is just someone who is patient and willing to see uh, sowing the seeds and, and, and reaping the rewards however long it takes. He is that person. Okay. And this is in your future. All right. So it looks like you are coming into or maybe y'all already have because, you know, you've started a new chapter and it has something to do with money and wealth, okay? But listen, also, I'm getting investments. Yeah, listen. Um, you also got the tower card in your future. So there is this investment that you could have been going through uh, because when I say long-term commitments, really is investment. When I say investment, it could be a relationship. It could be a uh, new job. Uh, but at the end of the day, really work-related. Um, and then it gets a little bit more complex because then you pull the tower, okay? And then you pull the eight of swords. So it looks like, let's just do one more here. Yeah, okay. And so very interesting. Um, this week with that new moon coming up, which is a very complicated new moon uh, because it's a great new moon, a lot of great stuff happening around it, but then I don't like that Mars is squaring Venus. But anyway, I'm not even going to get into it, but the tower. All right. So there could be a moment in the future where something does come crashing about. Uh, it could have to do with the, this long term commitment or investment that you've uh, made. And so listen, the tower is the card that everyone fears, but there's nothing to fear here. All right really nothing to fear and even though it does look chaotic and destructive never trust a reader who says that a card there's you know no redeeming quality to a card like i even like just randomly was listening to this one tarot reader and she's there i'm not gonna say who it was but they were saying that um there's when this card comes up it just means there's no hope and that could be the most untruest statement, right? Because every card has a light side, dark side, shadow side, you know, all of that. But listen, the tower card, it is not to be afraid of, okay? It's saying that something very unexpected could happen, okay, in the future. And it's not going to be something that you saw coming, obviously, and it's going to be a significant change. Uh, game-changing event that kind of like turns your life a whole other direction right uh, one thing that I always say is that even through all the chaos and destruction I want you to know that the tower moment doesn't happen to you it happens for you all right so it's saying that whatever that you may be wanting to invest in uh, moving forward there's something that could come collapsing around it uh, because it wasn't meant, to, maybe it wasn't meant to happen, all right? And so, uh, and that's another thing. You do see the lightning here, right? The lightning strike, okay? That's a flash of light. That's a flash of hope. But you see that you did get the Eight of Swords. So it could put you in a place where you feel really like you react very emotionally for, to it all right not only emotionally but like in your head all right it puts you in this headspace where you're just like wtf i thought everything was cool well you got the star okay star comes after the tower and this is the card of hopes and dreams aligning all right so there could be something that was uh, Capricorn, y'all are so detail oriented. Y'all are really good planners, okay? And so when something doesn't go according to plan, y'all can react in a big way. It looks like something may not go according to plan and it may put you in this headspace. Don't think, okay? Don't think of being in that headspace, all right? Just know that whatever is meant to happen is meant to happen for a reason. And boom, it's because. It was meant to happen 
All right. The star, this is all about our hopes and dreams aligning the way that we want it to. All right. You see the seven outer stars. Uh, we say those are the seven chakras aligning. Okay. You can see the water barrier here. This card is ruled by Aquarius, by the way. You can see um, and the, the symbol for uh, the Aquarian is the water bearer. But you can see uh, pouring the jug of water onto land as well. All right. Bring that knowledge into that world around her. You know, I talked about building your world earlier. Now, this is making that world incredibly fertile. Your world. All right. So this tower moment is going to happen for the stars to actually align for you for the things that you want to come to fruition to come to fruition all right so i want you to keep that in mind um let's just bring one more yeah page of wands all right new energy i love that uh wow that's really great okay so well keep that in mind i know that's a lot to consider there wow holy cow uh, let's, and again, in Page of Wands, this is a great card, okay? Call the Dreamer, all right? Now, this is someone, just real quickly, because I know we're running out of time here, I talk way too much. Um, you can see the barren uh, landscape. This is someone who has a power from the beginning, from the get-go. He's the newbie in the royal court to turn all of that into this beautiful, verdant, gorgeous, like, luscious, Remember what I talked about, world building, the world that you want, but also the world that you deserve, okay? So there's always good to come, and it looks like there's a lot of good to come for you, all right? Something new. Now, let's get to your stuff. Capricorn, if you like this reading so far, it'd be great if you like and subscribe. You know it helps my channel grow, all right? Even just a like would be great. <laughs> Thumbs up. Um, secondly, Capricorn, I love you, and you know that. If you're a, subscri a subscriber, thank you so much for being here with me every week. I love you so much. Now, Page of Pentacles, okay? It's so funny. This is really funny because as you did pull the High Priestess in your crown, and as you got the Queen of Swords in the heart of your spread, this what's really interesting to me, looking at the pattern of which way the, of, of how this is going, you did get another page, and you got a Page of Pentacles, all right? And so it does look like almost secretly you've been wanting something new, all right? It looks like you've been wanting, uh, yeah, in terms, maybe even a new job, but something, uh, Pentacles are so earthbound. Um, it should resonate with you uh, uh, the most because, you know, you as a Capricorn, being an earth sign, page, earth, okay? Pentacles, earth. This is very, very earthy, but this is so powerful and it should resonate with you the most. Okay, the page, again, the newbie, right? Uh, a lot of green, right? Uh, which is fine, which is great. This is, it just, you know, it's newness, right? It's newness. Um, listen this is the type of page who is so so dedicated to learning something new and it's almost like you know um i don't know stephen hawking right just uh, his nose in the books throughout high school and college just to get his name just to study to be the best at what you know in astrophysics okay uh this is that energy, okay? Just laser focused on that pentacle, what it takes to have that pentacle grow. All right, now, um, monetarily wise, of course, but just wealth, all right? And when I say wealth, wealth in all aspects of your life, okay? Even Madonna, if you think about the stories of Madonna when she was growing up, uh, all her friends, and you know, all of them through many different interviews would say, you know, she would always be the one that just never went out because she went home to work on her music and everyone did, kind of just sneered like, she thinks she's going to be this famous person, but she worked so hard. She sacrificed so much, like going out with friends just to work on her music, all right? Dedication. That's this kind of energy, okay? See where that leads to, all right? Now, 
Queen of Cups. You got another queen. You got three queens here. All right. <coughs> excuse me. Ah, uh, excuse me. Uh, third, third queen here. This is in your external factors area. So, listen. That is someone coming in in a very maternal way. I call her like the Princess Diana, the Mother Teresa of Tarot. Just having that warm, loving, enduring energy just to, oof, it's just almost like super maternal, all right? Uh, but someone who's looking over you, and this is the queen that actually leads with her heart, not her head, okay? She's the one who knows everybody in her kingdom by name that's how much she loves and cares about them you know whether it's a king whether it's a farmer she knows the name of all of them that's how much she cares okay someone coming through to help you along now ace of swords hey you're hoping to have some sort of breakthrough all right this is interesting it just keeps getting more interesting because you also got the hanged man at the end of it all all right the hanged man new perspective you are going to have this new perspective you are going to be looking at things in a very new way all right and what i said earlier about that surrender listen this is all about surrender all right making that sacrifice okay uh to bring in this newness in your life a new way of looking things new direction uh new perspective fresh new perspective listen that's a lot to unpack <laughs> Capricorn, that's a lot to unpack, but in the end, what a great spread. What a great spread. I wouldn't be surprised if some of y'all do something new here, all right? I wouldn't be surprised if some of y'all do something new. Um, and what really validates that is the fact that you did get the High Priestess in your crown, okay? Uh, some of y'all really want to trust your intuition to be able to pull this off, this new thing that you want, all right, uh, moving forward, okay, um, so this is, this is great, this is really great, I'm very happy for you, I'm extremely happy for you, um, again, deep down inside, you got the two of cups, so, in the root of your spread, so, I know what, I mean, this is just showing what is fueling you, and so this is really great because all of this really just does come from a place of love. All right. So Capricorn, I love you so much. I talk way too much. And uh, you, I really, we, we went, we went there, didn't we? We, gosh, this was like a full on, <laughs> full on spread. But uh, Capricorn, thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you next week. All right. Bye bye.